Using keyboard shortcuts with Windows 11 to navigate your computer can make life easier by saving you time and making you more productive. So give your mouse a break, pause this video if you need to learn these, and let's go. We'll start with shortcuts to two key apps in Windows, the first of which is settings. Instead of right clicking on the start menu to open the settings app, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus the I key. I do a lot of tutorials on this channel, as many of you know, so I do mention the shortcut quite a bit. File Explorer is often used to access the files and folders on your computer. You could launch it in the taskbar if you have it pinned there by simply clicking on it if it's not already open or right clicking on the icon and selecting File Explorer. You can also open it by right clicking on the start menu and selecting it. To open it quickly, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus E key. To open multiple windows of File Explorer, just keep using the shortcut. Staying in File Explorer, it now has support for tabs, just like most web browsers. So opening multiple windows is no longer necessary. To open a new tab, you could click on the plus here at the top. Instead, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Control key plus the T key. Using the shortcut, you can open as many tabs as you need. A feature that was introduced with the launch of Windows 11 is the Widgets panel. If you're using the default Windows 11 taskbar layout, you can open it by hovering your cursor on the left side of the taskbar. Here you can quickly check the weather, get sports updates, check the stock market, get the latest news, and a whole lot more. The keyboard shortcut to quickly open it is the Windows key plus W key. Using that same keyboard shortcut closes it as well. That power user menu I showed you earlier when you right click on the start menu can also be opened with the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus X key, also called the secret start menu. Once open, you can navigate the menu using the up and down keys on your keyboard. Once you find an app that you want to open, just hit enter on your keyboard. Staying in the taskbar, Apps that you have pinned to the taskbar to the right of the virtual desktops icon can be opened using the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus any number key from one to nine and zero. So to open Copilot, that would be the Windows key plus one. File Explorer would be the Windows key plus three. And moving down the line, Excel would be the Windows key plus nine. And after nine, any program to the right of that is zero. And in this case, that would be Spotify, which is the Windows key plus zero. So right now I'll open Brave using the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key and the 5 key. With the release of Windows 11, they got rid of the Action Center on the right side of the taskbar to see your quick settings, clock, calendar, notifications, all in one place. Now to see your quick settings, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus A key. You can navigate the various settings using the arrow keys on your keyboard. Finishing up the taskbar shortcuts, just to the right of quick settings to see your notifications and full calendar, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus the N key. The calendar will be at the bottom with the notifications at the top. If you're in an app or have multiple apps open and you want to quickly see your desktop, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus D key. To bring those apps back into view, using that same keyboard shortcut, the Windows key plus D will bring them back. If you have multiple windows and apps opened on your computer, using the Alt key plus Tab key will switch between them all. When you keep the Alt key pressed down and press the Tap key, tapping on the Tap key will move to the next one from left to right. Letting go of both keys brings up the window or app selected into view. If you want to quickly close any window or app that you have open, using the keyboard shortcut, which is the Alt key plus F4 key, will close it out. If you're using an application and you haven't saved your work, it will ask you if you want to save your work before closing. Being able to snap open windows is useful. To snap an active window to the left or right half of the screen or to the four corners of the screen, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus arrow keys. Pressing only the Windows key and up arrow will maximize that window. Pressing only the Windows key and down arrow will minimize it. 
In Windows 11, you can now snap any active window to the top half or bottom half of your screen. To snap the active window to the top half of your screen, hold down the Windows key, Alt key, and the up arrow key. Then using the arrow keys, select what you want to fill the bottom half, and then hit enter on your keyboard. To snap the active window to the bottom half of the screen, press the Windows Alt and down arrow key. After moving the window to the bottom half and releasing the shortcut keys, use the arrow keys to navigate the open windows. Once selected, hit enter on your keyboard. If you're only using one monitor, for example with a laptop, the Snap Layouts feature is useful. Without using a keyboard shortcut, it can be accessed by hovering your cursor over the Maximize icon of any window and selecting one of the layouts. But we'll do this with the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key and Z key. To translate for my international friends, that would be the Windows key and Z key. When you release the keys, you'll see the layouts are numbered from one to nine. I'll go with the number five, and I'll put this window on the left-hand side, and you'll see there's numbers one and two. I'll select the number one, then use my arrow keys on the keyboard to navigate the open windows and hit enter on the keyboard for the window or app you want in that zone. The select all keyboard shortcut is one of my favorites. It lets you select all of the text and images in a document or on a web page. And if using File Explorer, it lets you select all of the files and folders. To use it to select all, the keyboard shortcut is the control key and A key. And what you see selected, you can copy and paste this wherever you want it. And this is Control plus A, selecting all in the Downloads folder in File Explorer. This can come in handy, for example, when you want to copy all of the images in a particular folder and move them elsewhere. Clipboard history can be good for those times you forgot to paste something you had copied earlier. To open clipboard history, that keyboard shortcut is the Windows key plus the V key. Using the up and down arrows, you can cycle through the history. On a selected item, hit enter on your keyboard to paste it where you want it. As I demonstrated in an earlier Windows 11 features video, the voice dictation feature is now amazingly good. You can use it anywhere in Windows where you normally type or any text box in your browser. So I'll demonstrate this using it in a search engine. To launch it, use the Windows key plus H key. In this one, after I speak, I'll be hitting the enter key on my keyboard. What is 6-7 meme? Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Which keyboard shortcuts do you use most often? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and make sure to click the bell to not miss out on our latest Windows 11 videos and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.